Hey everybody, Matt and JC here, and we're in the middle of our list to sell series, and today we're going to be talking about condition of the home. You know, how you sell a home isn't how you live in a home. Right, totally different. In fact, let's start by saying it's a little inconvenient when you're going to sell a home because you got to do things every day to make it look like a model. Can you believe that? Right. Right, we're trying to make our home look like a model home. So, for example, Matt, some of the basics, wash the dishes every day. They got to be done before you leave the house. Right. right? What else? Bed. Have to make the beds. Got to make the bed every day. It's got to be. It's got to look like a model. What, what? What else? What if you've got a dog? What if it's a stinky house? It could be the smelly house. Could be the stinky smell. You know what? Buyers oftentimes will uh, nickname every property they look at, and when there's one that's stinky or smelly, that becomes known as. Well, what about the stinky smelly house, honey? Do you do you want your house to be the stinky smelly house? Huh. Are they going to write an offer on the stinky smelly house? I don't think so, Matt. What do you think? I don't think so. And also, kids. You know. For you know, in all seriousness, if there's toys strewn out all over the floor, right, those have to be picked up. They got to be put into a toy box every morning before you leave the house, or at least worst case scenario, stick them in the garage, stick them in a closet if you have to. And the other thing is the personalized items. Let's talk about that for a second. Right, you can't have pictures of uh, Aunt Susan and Grandma Gee all up on the wall. You know, it, especially we see a lot of people with family pictures, which is nice, filling the wall. You know what? On issues like this, let's take some of the clutter down. We're going to be packing to move anyways. So take the extra stuff off the wall so the buyer can imagine their stuff there, number one. Number two, rooms with too much furniture, start moving some of that furniture out. So in other words, here's the story on condition of the home. Make your home look like a model. I know it's weird. It's a little inconvenient. That's how you're going to get top dollar and sell your home. If you have any questions, pick up the phone, give us a call.